been a long week actually from monday to saturday yesterday and then we have come to a sunday a very calm sunday no church no what but uh, as usual uh, this is your host hamadi murila welcome you to this show i want to introduce you to a very nice a brief uh, cooking session of a beef recipe i know you are out there in the house you have been waiting for this show so that you can prepare something very quick for the family so don't worry we are going to be very brief on this and uh, you're going to enjoy what you're going to do here and uh, as usual you know tv47 is streaming live on go tv it's on star times and uh, uh, it's actually on Bamba TV and you can also stream it live from uh, uh, the website, the TV47 website and you can also follow this on the I Cook You Eat uh, page on Facebook. So guys, the numbers going uh, down there, they are streaming down there. You can send a message to the number down there, you can call, you can ask all the questions you want so that you can get all the feedback you require for the next uh, a show or anything you want us to do on this show that you haven't seen so guys uh very fast to what you're going to do today uh you see we have um we have uh our um, beef here this boiled beef it's like half a kilo of this uh, boiled beef and then um, uh, after the beef we are going to just use uh these ingredients we have two two uh, medium sized tomatoes we have one large onion and then we have uh, garlic here, we're only going to use uh, three cloves of this. And then uh, we have curry powder. We are using curry powder because it is going to help us reduce the use of so many spices. Curry powder has uh, the mixture of cumin, has the mixture of paprika, it has a mix of cardamom, cinnamon, it has, it has uh, bay, 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 sorry, uh, bay leaves and many other special ingredients. So there's not ingredients but spices. So if um, you have this, curry powder it's just a very simple spice we're going to use uh, like uh, one tablespoon of it and then uh, we have um, a cooking powder here which can be any company that you prefer and then uh, and then we have um, black pepper so our first our very first uh, uh, step is to make sure that we chop our onions into rings I always do rings I enjoy rings they 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 make a um, the final product look really nice so i'm going to do very thin rings one of the many reasons we are doing such thin rings is because we want to make sure that uh, our onions cook well and easily so uh, i'm going to chop the whole onion into fine rings the final stage normally because you're almost finishing to cut the onion you realize the final stage uh, normally leaves with a very small uh, margin for you to prepare more rings so you just chop chop the remaining onion there's no harm in that so you're going to come here to our cooker down here so that uh, you want to Continue with the process. We're going to use moderate heat. So I'm going to introduce these onions here. Then um, I'm going to add my cooking oil. Close to about um, a quarter cup. I'm going to use a, a lot of it. I want something yeah, that's enough. You can uh, always drain the remaining on a paper towel like that and wipe and then you can put it back there. So as this process continues, remember we have um, we have our um, we have our spatula here. Make sure that it's uh, it's uh, the silicone one to make sure that you don't spoil your nasty cooking pots. So you do that. So we're going to give some time for these onions. To cook we're not going to wait until they are browned but um yeah they're just almost browning uh turning to golden brown and then we're going to start adding some of the other ingredients we have so we're going to do that and then um uh, i'm going to add um uh, a little bit of um salt which is here uh -huh. can just um take it kidogo like that 
uh, this cloth to about um, just half a teaspoon. Because if you put too much of it, remember oil is, salt is an ingredient uh, anyone can add on the table. So if you put too much of it in this initial stage, some people might not, have, might, might not actually enjoy this meat. Mm -hmm. So as that goes on, we are going to pound our garlic. So I said I'm using three cloves of garlic. So I, I'm going to chop them first. Then after I chop them, I'm going to introduce them. My work very easy. I'm going to put a little bit of salt, very little salt. I think you can see I put very little salt. We're not putting much, just a little bit of the salt. So I'm going to put that. This is going to help us uh, grind our, um, or maybe pound our, That, that. Uh huh. Come up from there. Proceed to the cubes. That, uh, we make sure that we do this so that our um, tomatoes can cook very well. You also have the option of um, blending this. So that is it. We're going to put them together. But remember there's another procedure going on on the cooking, in the cooking pot. So we are going to come here, stir this. So as they get ready, we are going to introduce our garlic into this mix. So I'm going to take my garlic. I'm going to use the same, I can just use the same spoon. Like that, like that, and there was some that had uh, stuck on the pestle. Remember guys, if you have any question, there's an SMS number going on, or maybe streaming down on your screen, follow that SMS number, write your messages there, we'll be responding them, maybe we'll be responding to them. Uh, so that um, you have knowledge of everything that is happening. The advantage of using non-stick cooking pots is that you use very little oil and uh, you can always find this cooking pot at Super Smart Kitchen and General Household Appliances. It's on Facebook. You can always find nice, good quality cooking pots. So these cooking pots are very essential in making sure that you are eating healthy food. And by eating healthy food, I mean you're using little oil. You're not using too much oil. So if you use too much oil on last day cooking pots, your food will be soggy with a lot of oil. So at this stage, at this stage, remember I had, um, I had talked about the spices that you're going to use. The last spice that you're going to add will be this uh, cooking powder. So we don't need this right now. So we are going to put it aside like that. So we have two. You have black powder, I'm going to say the black pepper. So this black pepper, I'm going to put the whole of it. It's actually, I had measured it. It's a, 
The black pepper, it's uh, one uh, teaspoon. You mix like that. Don't worry, it won't be a lot. It will be just the right measure for uh, the half a kg of... Um, then make sure that after you put every spice, you stir. This enables it to mix well and cook. And then our next spice is uh, the curry powder. This one is very available in most shops. So you can put that curry powder there. Then mix again so that it can also cook by itself. At this stage, some guys wonder why they cook food and then later they smell so many spices in the food. It's because your spices don't cook well. And the best step to introduce spices is actually when you're frying the onions and uh, the garlic. This helps uh, that hot oil to, uh, to burn, not, not to burn, but to heat the spices well and make sure that they are cooked uh, well and efficiently. So that, I've seen what I've done there. So what is our next step? Our next step is now to introduce the meat in this mix. So, it's here. We're going to introduce it here, like this. Like that. Then I'm going to stir it like that. Remember, I've not yet. Um, I've, if you follow the steps, you realize that I've not put the tomatoes yet. I want to cook this meat here and allow it to brown. This step also gives gives us enough time to ensure that these spices penetrate the meat well. Because the moment you're going to introduce the tomatoes on this um, on this pot, you're going to have uh, maybe you're going to have a good mix, yes. But the spices won't cook as well. So put them during this time and let the meat mix well with the yeah with the, um, the spices. So you do that. You can always put your pot on the side. And as this process continues you make sure that you're very observant. It's not supposed to take more than five minutes so that um, uh, you, all, you don't burn the meat and you also don't overcook it. Yeah, so guys, as I've said, you can go to Facebook when I cook you eat, find us there. It's I-C-O-K-U-E-A-T. You're going to find very nice recipes. TV47 is also on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram, and it's also it also streams live on, um, it's on, um, uh, website yeah so as this step go on I've told you I've told you that we need to do this for five minutes so after every minute we are going to start them as we allow the meat to brown for the pole. So, we do that. After at least one minute or one and a half minutes, you can always open, stir, and allow it to cook. As I said, guys, you're not taking too long. We, we want to make sure that we don't burn our onions. But you also just allow our meat to cook into this mix well. If you haven't read the SMS number well, please, it's 22047. Maybe you, are, you might not be seeing it very clearly. Maybe you're seeing sitting far from the TV and you're not seeing all this well. So the SMS number is 22407. Send your message there. Uh, it's a toll free message. You won't be charged so that um, you can give your answers to some of your questions. I think you can now see what you wanted. It is not supposed to brown very much, but just to that level. And then now, we now want to get to our next step, which is now introducing the tomatoes. You see, just gently like that. And then you realize that I'll just distribute them evenly in the cooking pot. Like this. 
the box. Then I stop. This beef is going to be wet fry. It is not beef stew. It's just out. Then it's just wet fry. So we are not going to put any soup. So, I'm gonna pen soup. Sorry for today. We can do that next time. <laughs> That. And then you're going to cover it and allow the tomatoes to cook for about one to two minutes. It's not a long time. So if, if you leave it again for so long, you might end up burning your food. So try to control uh, the timings very well. The whole, the, the whole amount of time you're going to cook this beef, you realize that after boiling, I think you know the secrets of boiling, uh, how to boil faster. I told you guys you can always use um, uh, vinegar to tenderize your meat or again the best and cheapest way to tenderize your meat is just end up the chini komta. go there get that pineapple on a pima tenbo squeeze the juice sprinkle on the meat when it's still raw and then put it in your fridge for like 30 minutes get it out of that place and you're going to boil your meat for less than 20 minutes i can tell you for free you're going to enjoy that and after that, after when, after you have done, maybe you're done with the cooking, your uh, your nyama won't, maybe your beef won't smell any type of uh, uh, pineapple in it. So we are, become, we are very observant so that we don't mess up our meats. You can see how it's coming out nicely. I told you guys this is going to be a very nice. So we are now going to our last in, uh, our last spice, which, which was the cooking powder. It's here. Uh, this is actually one tablespoon. If you are very careful, you will have realized that um, you are not using too much of these ingredients. You can put this back here and then I just mix. And I've put it when it's totally in powder form. I've not mixed with water. It also helps us make a very thick paste of the wet fry and also add flavor and uh, taste to the, to the meat. So you can see that. Wow, this is nice. So we're going to cover this for like 30 seconds and then you open. Remember cooking powder is normally already processed so it's not, uh, not supposed to cook for too long. Mm -hmm. So I want to take you again through the measurements of the ingredients we have used. Number one, we had half a kg of, uh, of beef. It was uh, well chopped into cubes. From, from uh, that uh, one, we had two medium-sized tomatoes. We had, we had one large uh, onion. Waswele wanaita kitungumaji. Njoo kuna kitungu saumu na kuna kitungumaji. So hapa tumetumia vitungwa inambili. Kuna kitungumaji, which is the normal onion we use at home. And then we have garlic, yambayi naitua kitungumaji. Only three cloves of garlic. Then now, uh, the other thing we have added is black pepper, which was one teaspoon. And then we have come to adding um, another spice, uh, which was curry powder. I told you curry powder is a mixture of many other spices. So if you put curry powder and you end up adding garam, you add cumin, you add um, ginger, you add onion powder, you add, uh, you will have food that is very spicy. Because curry powder is a mixture of all those, including bay leaves, including parsley, including cinnamon, yeah? and the ginger, and uh, many other spices are in there, in the curry powder. If you have any question about this curry powder, you can also send the message on 22047, you're going to respond. Or um, you can also call the numbers that are streaming live down there. So you can see we are done. Guys, it's been... I never disappoint when I tell you we are opening after one minute, it's exactly after one minute. If it's two minutes, it's two minutes. So you can see, our wet fry is done and very well cooked. So from here it can be served with either ugali and skumawiki, cabbage or whichever greens you prefer. Or those who love kienyeji, you can do nice kienyeji. Yeah, and from my home we can do some nice murenda from Western. We love murenda. 
So that is it. I think you can see how it has come out. And I can assure you before I test this, this is super tasty. But how will I know? I need to test. So I'm going to take just one piece and put it here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take this. I have no comment, guys. This thing is tasty. Super tasty. Try this in your house. Try this. Even just after this show, put your ingredients together and try this. You're going to love the idea of this wet fry. Simple, not complicated ingredients that are readily available, spices readily available. There's nothing complicated here. So, thank you guys. It's been a wonderful time having you. I want to assure you that our next show is going to be amazing. But um, again, as I've said, you can do this with Skumawiki or uh, uh, any other greens you prefer. Me, I'll do with Skumawiki for today. But thank you guys for the for following up with the, uh, maybe following up about the meats or the beef. We meet during the Skumawiki show so that we can add on this and make some nice ugali for supper. Thank you guys. Hey guys, uh, I'm back now. I told you I'm going to make some skumawiki to take my beef with it. I think if you've realized, uh, this is actually a very nice and short recipe. Just skumawiki and the normal beef, but with some trick of some nice simple spices that you can find anywhere. So this is going to be taken with ugali. I don't want to tell you how this tastes now because you just have to prepare it for that recipe and get whatever that I'm going to get inside my test bags right now. So Mazze guys, thank you so much. It has been a wonderful show. I hope you have learned something. Uh, next time, uh, of course, next weekend, next Sunday, you're going to tune in. We're going to have another very amazing recipe. It has been uh, the throwdown on TV 47. It's been a pleasure having you guys here. We always enjoy having your viewership and of course there is 22047 down there a very short sms number is toll free write your message let us see what you think about the show let us get your interest on what you want to be done and what you want to be improved or maybe if you also want to be our guest on the show you can also tell us hey guys i want to be a guest on that show and we're going to see how to work that around and get you on this show so maze with that, we, uh, without due much and um, without going into so much detail, go to Facebook, I cook you eat, I-C-O-O-K-U-E-A-T. It's also a very nice place for you to get all this stuff. So it's been, uh, it's been quite a wonderful time having you guys here. My name is Kabani Murila, your host all the time, anytime. Let's tune in again on next Sunday, 6.30 p.m. as usual, for such beautiful things. Asante. Wet fry beef. Half a kg of beef, quarter cup of cooking oil, two medium sized tomatoes, one large onion, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of Royco powder, half a teaspoon of My name is Bishop Dr. John Warari. I come to you to give you hope follow the instructions of the Ministry of Health. We have been told to sanitize, to clean our hands as often as possible. As you wash your hands,